Hi there everyone, welcome back to Time with Sean. Um, so first off I just want to explain how I'm going to do my videos. Um, this is just going to be a small um, explanation and um, on how the challenge works. So first off, in the in the month, um, first Wednesday, I'll be taking the first three topics and a scene. Um, as you can see, I'm taking my scene first and then I'll have three topics that's being randomized in the first Wednesday and adding it into an image or creating an image of that. Then I'll go to Wednesday 2. I'll be taking then three images from there, randomizing them and then also adding to the, uh, the image that was created on Wednesday 1. Please keep in mind this is all being done into one image. So then after that I'll be going to Wednesday 3 and then also once again taking three images, um, randomizing them and then uh, putting them into the image for that was on Wednesday 2. Um, and then same for Wednesday 4, that uh, which is probably week 4, I'll be adding another three images that's randomized and adding them to the Wednesday, Wednesday 3 image. Um, once again, all of them are still in one image that started off with Wednesday 1. Then if there's a fifth Wednesday in a month, then I will also then add another three to uh, the picture to add a little bit more um, of a challenge. Um, but mostly I think it will be 12, 12 images per month uh, or well per month and Wednesdays that's in the month. So let's take a look at the randomization. Okay, so what we have here is we've got um, big buildings, needs to be a child in the scene and then also vehicles. So uh, to be a little bit more specific, also it's going to be buildings, child and then it needs to be the, the vehicle must be a boat and then the scene we'll be using is Misty. So let's quickly do that so we have record of that. Uh, can I? I like that. So big buildings, child, boat, and then misty. <clears throat> okay. So that's what we need to create. So. Um, my next step is to go to Embora Elements and see if I can find anything in that regard. So let's hop over to Embora Elements. Okay, so let's see what I need um, to make this image. So let me just build up my notepad that I typed it in. I need a big building, child, a kid. Uh, whatever you want to describe that as, and then also a boat and then a misty environment. So let's go to Invora Elements and look for something like that. Let's get our images first. Um, I'm just going to move this to the side. Then Invora Elements. So let's see. Let's see misty just to get an idea what we're looking for. Oh wait. Yeah, let's go misty and see what we was just looking for. Misty could be anything misty. That's nice. Okay, we're looking for big building. Kid, it's difficult. Going to be seeing a kid in there and then a boat. So, let's change that to graphics. So, what I'm doing here is I'm just quickly going through the images. Um, I have sped up the uh, video a little bit more. Um, getting the images that I want um, and just scrolling through to see if I can see anything for a misty mountain or anything that's got kind of a misty um, feel to it. Essentially this will actually work. Let's see what that's, that's about. This could work with a big building at the back. We can try, we can take this guy out. Try and get something in here, like a kid in a boat. Uh, the water's moving a bit fast. Um, the idea I have is not really in there. But we can also put the boat on the side. Okay, I've got an idea about it. So let, let's say this one for the background. So what I'll do is I'll choose all three images and then um, I'll get back to you and show you what they are.
Okay, so now that we have our images, uh, let's go into Photoshop and create a new file. So let's click on new file. Um, this is portrait. Uh, I think let's do one in portrait and see how it looks. The other dimensions I use is this for um, landscape. Uh, you'll see here's a few others. That's just me putting in images. That's why it's on recent. Um, so it will be random sizes depending on the image that I've taken from wherever. Um, a nice thing to know as well is they've got a mobile one for if you want to do phone backgrounds. I love making phone backgrounds. Um, I, uh, it feels like it's, it's something you really can make really nice, especially because of the phone's background also being, or the screen being so uh, nice if it's on an iPhone or Galaxy or, um, or any of the others that's got nice uh, contrast on the phone. Anyways, um, let's go to recent. I'm going to choose the portrait one. So let's say create. So that's our portrait. So let's pull in the images. Uh, let's go first the one in the water. Let's pull in then da, 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 the buildings. Then let's say we're pulling in the boat. And then let's say we're getting in the rocket. Um, okay. So something nice that I saw um, a few weeks ago is the one guy um, showed that he removes objects um, in this manner. I haven't used it before, so let's try it. Otherwise, um, there are other ways, um, but I think this is a lot quicker. Um, it's something Smart Photoshop um, has got as a function. So let me show you guys. So what you'll do is, is you'll select Object Selection Tool, um, highlight the guy. You'll see it will highlight it. So you can see there's still a little bit there there. So what I want to do is let's take quick selection, hold in alt to minus. Um, it's fine if it's a little bit over. Uh, a lot of people use a pen tool to be a little bit more accurate, stuff like that. But let's uh, use a little bit of the technology and see if it works. So what you want to do is select modify, expand the selection we have. So this will expand the thing, I believe 10 pixels out. Well, yes, 10 pixels, click OK. You see, we can just move that out. So you'll see it, it's bounced out a little bit. Um, then what we want to do is, is we go to Edit and then say Content to Wear Full. So meaning it will take this out, um, the content that it's aware of. Uh, you can click then OK. And boom, guy's gone. And you've got this whole image. I just wanted to show you um, how to remove that image. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to speed up the whole process and um, yeah, see if I can shorten this video because there's quite a lot of stuff that I touch on but I just want to make sure that this is all um, also at a right pace um, to yeah enjoy the content. So yeah, enjoy. So things I want to explain quickly, um, you'll see I add a mask to everything. Um, the mask is a great tool to use in the sense that you can actually recover anything that you've removed. Um, it's not like a eraser in the sense where you remove um, from the actual image. You're putting in an overlay, but it's uh, you've got the ability to remove and add the image back, um, which I would suggest do it on everything because um, there's a few times that you want to go back and see if you can maybe adjust and make it better. Um, I'm sure you'll see me working in this. There's a few times that I brush and then put it back and brush and put it back where applying the mask is a great, great tool to use uh, for something like that. Um, I would suggest get familiar with it. Um, it's just so much better to use and also to adjust a lot of the work that you do um, and recovering it. It will save you a lot of time.
So what I did here is, is I didn't like the boat that I saw. So I went and select another boat to pull into the picture. Um, I went into Envato Elements, got the 3D picture that you can rotate to the position that you like. And then I added that to the picture. Um, and this is what I did with it. I just want to add to this, um, obviously the video is going pretty quickly, um, so there's maybe stuff that you won't see that's happening. Um, I'm, I, the, all the work that I've put into this is actually about two, two and a half hours just on the recording itself. The video itself is also taking me about two hours to edit and see what I want to do. Obviously I saw the one thing in editing, luckily that was not too bad or to fix it. But uh, just something to keep in mind, if there's anything that you want to know more about or let me explain a little bit more, put it in the comments. Um, I can add it in the videos, maybe make a short video regarding that function um, just to uh, make it a little bit more clear. Um, from my side, um, learning all of this, I actually learned most of it by playing around with it, going onto Google and searching certain functions, certain text, then you actually learn quite a lot out of that um, by uh, trying to edit like they explain you should be doing the editing. Um, I watch also a lot of other YouTube videos for guys that's also creating videos um, for Photoshop and they also explain pretty well um, how you do it and how they get a certain effect that you might be looking for. So what I'm going to do now is uh, get the little kid into the picture. So what I did there is I selected the image or the background. I, I selected it to change it for me to a uh, rasterized layer. And then from there, um, I on the right, you'll see there's a remove background option. Clicked on that and it pulled out the background and then just left the little kit there so that I can use that image into my image. biggest magic that you can expect out of this whole thing is going to camera raw filter so let's do that okay so yeah you'll play a lot with the settings um, I'm gonna go through it and make it to where I feel happy with the image and what I want to have it look like um, with the camera raw filter you can do this part obviously on your own and um, see 
just what you like. Um, this is usually on the person's preference of what they want the image to look like. So I'm going to start with that and then, yeah, we'll look at the final product. Yeah, I noticed that I'm not feeling impressed with the image, uh, especially with the boat and the little kid, that um, I do decide that I want to do something else with it. Okay, so I think I found out why. Um, so let's, uh, I want to put a shadow at the bottom part as well, a little bit darker, a little bit more like the bag here. Just get a little bit more shadowing in. Um, it might not look like anything, but it's going to be a little bit better for me. So I noticed that uh, I cut off the tree top when I was selecting the building when I was pulling it into the image. So what I'll be doing here is just pulling in the tree top and then blending it in by pulling in the other um, filters that I'm putting on it and then sort it that way. So there we go. This is the final part of the image. Uh, pretty happy with it, especially that I figured out that I need to add the shadows. Um, I see quite a lot of streamers also do the same thing and, and, and it brings out the image so much in the sense of being uh, pulled into the image um, and not almost standing out. So just a note on the camera raw filter when playing with it. Um, pull it to the left, pull it to the right to make sure that you see what is the uh, changes that's being made and then calibrate from there to get what you want um, and as you saw I go through kind of all the tabs to see if there's something that my, maybe will interest or better the image or maybe give me a look of uh, what the image might be and what I might be happy with then from there onwards um, just to note that I'm just doing three images this week then next week Wednesday is the first Wednesday for the next month then I'll be starting with the challenge where I add the first one, um, the first challenge, and then after that, I'll add more and more to the that actual first image for the month. So in the end, I'll have 12 or 15 images, as I explained. But yeah, that I'll handle then. This is just for now to show uh, kind of what I did. Um, then I hope to see you guys uh, Wednesday. And then also, please remember, if, if you like what you saw, or maybe keep an eye on this, subscribe um hit that the notification bell or yeah um just like it as well if you want to then um yeah i'll try to keep the videos a little bit shorter obviously i had to explain a few things in this as well but that's about it so yeah see you on the next uh, wednesday